Hello everyone, welcome back to day 23 of the lambing vlogs. The weather outside may be frightful, but the lambs inside are delightful. It's a tuny kind of day, sorry about that. But in the night we've had a lovely single born here, as you can see down there, and we've just had a set of twins in the top corner born. I keep missing them, it's slightly annoying, but at the end of the day, if they lamb themselves, I much prefer that than me having to get involved. So here are the set of triplets that have literally just been born about 15 minutes ago, but we're going down to field to make sure everything is okay. I hope you enjoyed today, guys. The weather, as I said before, is awful. So fingers crossed we have no problems. And that is it. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this, and there'll be more lambing vlogs to come. So let's get into it. <laughs> Lambs to start the day. Look who has also come for a visit. Thankfully, she has learned that she doesn't go near the sheep because she's little, the sheep are big, and they're very, very hormonal, so they do not like dogs. At the moment, it looks like she's found something tasty to eat. Um, I suggest you leave that, Joe. That's not very good for you. All the lambs born yesterday are all looking good, healthy, all full stomachs. I think we need to get some of these tag tailed and numbered and into that big pen. That's what I'm thinking. Right, so guys, I'm back and we are just down at the U's. I'm just driving down to the field, but the plan is I'm just going to move them across the field today because they're getting down the grass fairly quick and the field next to them, there's a lot more cover. As you've seen, the weather is absolutely horrendous. So we're going to move them. That is the plan. Um, I just think I'd rather be safe and sorry. Today wasn't actually meant to be as wet, but how it is on the weather, the bad day wasn't too bad, the good day is a lot worse. So that's English weather for you guys. Right, let's see if they'll come to a different place to feed as usually. We're up in that other top corner. So come on, girls! <whistles> as you can probably see here, the grass, they've got down it fairly quick. And it doesn't really help with it being wet because they tread some down, so they waste some of it. We want to get some fertilizer on, but tractors ain't gonna travel on this kind of stuff currently. Come on! Come on, girls! And no doubt we're gonna have to wander around this field to try and get some of them moved. Come on! Come on! <laughs> that is them um, all fed. Apologies, the mic is off again, guys, because it's not nice weather. But digging in, they're all slowly coming across. What I am going to do is go and push all the lambs because some of the lambs aren't following the ewes. Right, we go for a jump. Oh, not too bad. That's not as bad as you want the other day. They'll always pick the furthest point in the field to go and shelter. So all the way right in the corner down here, the ewes are the opposite side of the field in the gateway. Typical sheep. Oh, there's bundles of them up here. Uh, they found the shelter. Down there you can see there's a lot of shelter. Come on lambs! I'm sorry! Go for a move. There's more shelter in the next field, don't worry. <whistles> up you get, up you get. Good lammies. That is another benefit of moving all these. There's a lot more shelter in that field. Like There's a railway bridge they can all sit under. And with this weather setting in, I think they'll need it. Well, it looks like we're finally getting somewhere. We just got a few lambs that are stragglers, and most of them have realised there's a gateway over there they can go through. So, just got these half a dozen here and a couple up there, but the most of them have found a way through on some nice new grass. Come on, lammies, come on. Down you go. Come on. Last ones. Oh, yeah. Gone. That is them all moved. I am absolutely drenched, but I'd rather get drenched myself and let these guys have a better day. So, as you can see, there's like a tree line over there, the bridge is there, there's trees all along and around the pole, so it's a lot better field when it's wet. 
and there's more grass in general so good job done we'll leave them all to pair up and come and have another look at them later right guys we're on the phone because we have a ewe lambing the one with one eye and it's a bit, bit, bit of a it doesn't smell good good girl it's got a spoon in and i think the lamb's a bit stuck the problem is she might prolapse while we're on her. The biggest Please be alive. Oh, it's alive, it's alright. That's good. Good lammy. Oh, we got here in the nick of time. That is so lucky. Sometimes those with spoons and if you don't get them right on time. It's a cross bed lamb too, so this is a very sound cross. Another top one, can you see all the brown bits on it? Right, we'll get the second one out, guys. <coughs> oh, that's a pretty lamb. That's a proper speckly lamb. That's Good what we were girl. hoping for. Good girl. And we got a ewe lamb. Our first crossbred ewe lamb. Staying? Right, we'll get these two to lick. I just need to get... Good girl. Good girl, so the one-eyed sheep's land. For those that don't know the story, in the summer, this um, ewe got an ulcer on her arm. We had to kick it out, kick it out, cut it out. Good girl. I apologise if the filming's not the best. I've, yeah. I needed like three sets of hands. We do. The thing is, we did have the camera with us, but we rushed because we wanted to get his arms out. Sometimes <laughs> the sheep matter more on filming. Well, they always do. So if anything like this happens, we'll just grab the phone camera. So I can yeah. see the steam on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that dramatic lambing those roosts and lambs? They're looking corking. I'll show in a minute how they're looking. But look who has joined us. The marvellous Sophie's come bottle feeding because it's her favourite job in the world, isn't it? And look at this. What are those? They're my trusty pink crocs. <laughs> Saying that. I usually wear them, so I can't say anything. <laughs> but I'm in the trusty Le Chameuse. Well, right. I didn't come to work. No, she didn't come. I came for dinner. I'm very persuasive. <laughs> this is what steak and chips does. Gets people to come and bottle feed. But these are waiting. We've actually had to bring another uh, lamb back. Unfortunately, number 37, I've had to bring back. I know, it's it's really annoying. But we've now got 37, 38, 39. So there may be something up. And there may have been such with the pens at that time. I don't know. Leave them. Let's get them bottle fed because so it's going to be annoyed for me chatting. She just wants to go back into the warp, don't you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? So that is all the lambs bottle fed to Soph Joy. It didn't take too long, did it? No, it was not too bad. But also before that, what we've been doing, we've been numbering and moving some ewes and lambs, but we've saved one special one to film. And that is because, if you remember the other day, I keep mentioning, the roof sand cross lamb was born, which is a little one down here isn't it mate and this is what he's looking like now oh he doesn't like the light i don't think he likes light but we've saved a special number for this guy so this is going to be number 100 which means it's the hundredth lot of lambs born of the year it probably isn't the hundredth well no it's not because we've already done a couple after 100 but we wanted to save it for him because it's a special one so soph is actually going to do the honors do you reckon you're up to writing 100 on the side <laughs> of him without messing it up i think so have you never done a triple figure one before though? I haven't. <laughs> so, let's do it. Hey. 100! <laughs> right guys, we are back for day 24 of the Lummy Vlogs. We are outside checking how they use have got on overnight in this new field. They all look pretty well, and a lot of them have come from that direction, which is where the trees are, so that's ideal. And it's time for the morning feed. They're all waiting, they know what time it is, don't they? Definitely know what time it is now. Well, the lambs are definitely hardening up to this outdoor living malarkey. They're all pretty much spread out along the bank down here. So there's a pond in this field, just over here, and there's a river, the other side of the field over there. Of all the lambs, there's a little bank here, I say a little Bundy bank thing. This is where we drive around to avoid going across the field because it's a bit wet, but they're loving it. Aren't right, you guys? 
they had a wet night but they're looking stronger for it i do find if you do get lambs through a harder period the rest of their life they're usually harder sheep but that's my opinion if you keep them indoors for like 10 weeks and put them out you usually find that they maybe not be as strong we've got some more up here but they're looking well it's a good morning it's a fairly nippy well not too cold a morning at least it's stopped raining and i reckon when all this mist um lifts it should be a sunny day because you normally see we're near canic chase over there in the distance when it looks like the light in the distance normally it's sunny well gonna be a nice day well talking rubbish now but yeah Right guys, so we're back home in the lambing shed and now we've just got a grand total of 21 ewes left to lamb. The last couple of days have been absolutely amazing. We had six Tuesdays ago, we had five lamb yesterday, well I include the five with the lamb over there and he's moving, that single was born last night. And matter of fact, there's a ewe here, a twin, that's lambing right now. So as you can see, she is really bad, but she is a hell of a milky ewe. So, her lambs are definitely going to have a full stomach of colostrum. Um, yeah, that is the ewes. There are no more ewe lambs that have lambed. We've got the twin roosans. What I'll do is we'll leave them to it, they're feeding. We'll pop down and I'll shoot you the crash area, etc. so you know where we're at. Righto, guys. So, crash area update. If you remember, these four in a row lambed the day before last, but a couple of them have been replaced. So we had four lamb yesterday, which includes uh, these two, so these nice set of twins. Then we got the Roussan twins, whereabouts are they? So these are the Roussan twins down here. They're really nice and speckled, as you can probably see. It's a one-eyed you. Um, which one else lamb? This lovely single, so a big single we had yesterday. I'm sorry I've been missing some of this, but I'm trying to work and lamb at the same time. So trying to give you updates as we go and the final one that lambed yesterday was another very nice set of little twins so these are here then we got obviously the two at the end that were topping up which no doubt are going to turn into cades we did move a lot around yesterday so we're now numbered up to if we go over to the big crash area 105 so the roussan numbers 100 last night we've left that in just because i still need to record it but in the crash area, look back up to about 40. It soon fills up in here. So come in here, there is an array of colours, as you remember. We got some pinks. We've got an awfully numbered 103. So that's the latest one. 105 over there. And then it's lambs trying to get onto 97. Cheeky one there. Um, and this is the crash area. So we're not going to put any lambs out for today or tomorrow. Just until the weather picks back up, I'd rather be safe than sorry. But there are some belting lambs in here. Look at these 91s, these are my favourite in here. Look at that, that's a hell of a ewe lamb. This one there. And it's adopted on brother there. There you go. Good girl. Good lambie. Push. One push. Good girl. Good girl. Well, what a cracking sight that is, guys. I know I say it every time. It just amazes me. Every time we get two lovely live lambs out. Great size. The reason I had to lamb her was just because she was a little bit tight. And she saw its head needed a little bit of help just getting out. But they're all okay. They look like two really smart lambs, don't they go? She's doing a great job of licking them. So one thing I haven't said guys, when they're born, the, what the you will do is basically lick them all off and clean them to dry them off because obviously if they're wet they get cold. I should have said this a lot earlier in the vlogs, but that is what she's doing there. She's cleaning them off, getting all that stuff off them. She's just a great mum. And all these cleans, they're just cracking mothers. And they'll leave them to it 15 minutes, then we'll get them moved.
Right guys, you can probably tell we're not having the usual end to a Lamy Vlogs video and that is because there is so much footage from this night's lambing. We can't fit it all into this vlog, so what I've done, I've split it up and I'm going to make it into the next vlog because it is so exciting. Um, if you do want to tune into that guys, please subscribe to the channel and if you did enjoy today's video, please tap that like button. I really appreciate all the support guys. It's been so, so good. So, massive thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed today. Again, tune in next time for the rest of today's, tomorrow's, and the rest of the Lamy Vlogs, guys. Cheers.